Peace be with you. And I really do mean that. Peace be with you. Uh, we're living in unpeaceful times. Times filled with a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of worry. And I guess I want to say uh, to you today, that's, that's pretty normal. So if you're feeling stressful, if you're feeling really anxious, I, I, I think you're, 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 you're normal. Uh, that's just a part of life, and it helps us to be that way. Uh, you know, and, and, and we're going from times that have been rather peaceful to unpeaceful times, stressless to stressful, and it's happening so quick. I remember just a week ago, I was in a restaurant here in Dothan with my wife, and we were eating, and a lady about 12 feet from us, uh, she sneezed. And everyone in that restaurant turned and, and stared her down as, as though she just stood up and uh, ripped apart her blouse and shown that she was a suicide bomber with a bomb strapped all to her. It was incredible. That wouldn't have happened three weeks ago, but it happened last week, and, and now people are picking up takeup food uh, from restaurants instead of going in, in them. So, so uh, I guess worry and stress and anxiety become really destructive when they become overwhelming when they dominate our lives. Uh, I was thinking today about a time not too long ago when I was really at war with stress and anxiety and um, with just uh, um, awful, awful thoughts about the future. I brought from my office today something that's been, been there for, for about 10 years. Uh, you can read that. It says, inhale faith, exhale fear. You see that at the end of a lot of things I write, a lot of emails and a lot of other uh, sort of communication that I make. Inhale faith, exhale fear. Ten years ago, and this coming up April, uh, my wife Sally was diagnosed with breast cancer. And uh, within ten days she had a double mastectomy. And then uh, we went through chemo together. I've been with a lot of people who have uh, cancer, uh, you know, once a week or once every two weeks. Uh, but I've never been with someone uh, daily as they struggled through that and especially through the chemo. And I have to tell you, it was awful. Good results, but, but the day-by-day -day process was just filled with terror. It was filled with anxiety and fear. Really got to me. I started thinking, hey, what if, what if Sally's not with me a year from now? What am I going to do? What if, what, if, what if I've got two kids in college and, and uh, I'm their sole parent? How's that going to be different? Uh, what would it be like to go on a date with someone else? I mean, that, that really terrified me. It was, it, it was awful, and it was overwhelming. There, there were times where I just had to have enough strength for the day. Uh, sometimes it, it got so hard uh, that, that, that I'd have to just have enough strength for the hour. And so I'd, I'd forget about what I had to do at 2 in the afternoon, and I'd just be focusing on this hour, what I had to do with her, what I had to do with church, what I had to do with sermon. And, and sometimes it got to where it's just segments. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus this five minutes because I can't deal with the next 50 minutes. And then it got down to minute by minute sometime. I just needed straight for that, that minute. And I have to tell you, it did get down to just moment by moment. Lord, I need enough strength for this moment. And that's when I started trying to, to inhale some good things moment by moment. And then to exhale some unhealthy things moment by moment. And that's where inhale faith, exhale fear came from. It's a real thing. That's the origin of that. I, I, would, I would sit there and I would inhale. <sighs> I would inhale uh, the words of Paul. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. <sighs> Breathe it out. Breathe out the worry and anxiety. I would inhale the Psalms. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in time of trouble. <sighs> for that moment. I'd inhale the words of, of Jesus. Hey, um, in the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I've overcome the world. I'll not leave you. I'll not forsake you. I'll be with you always, even to the end. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Inhaling faith. <sighs> Exhaling fear. It became literally a breath prayer. You may need a breath prayer at times during the weeks ahead. It could be your own. It could be, take care of us, oh God. Be with me, God. Have mercy on me, Lord. Maybe you need to borrow someone's. You can borrow this one. Inhale faith. 
exhale fear. Just inhale faith. Exhale fear. And inhale faith. Exhale fear. Inhale faith. And exhale fear. I'm doing this good word with you today from our prayer chapel, which is behind the sanctuary in our church. And it's, it's open for prayer 24 hours a day. And uh, it's a holy place. Maybe you'll need to use it in the next few weeks. But right where you're at, you can just inhale faith. Exhale fear. Let us pray. God, uh, help us to inhale faith and exhale fear every uh, moment of every hour, of every week ahead. Amen. Bless you.